Whatever Squishmallows this lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh. Okay, I think we have to stick with the colors of the cheeseburger, add on the legs of the octopus, probably the hat from this little chick, and maybe somehow add in some features from the cat. Like first and foremost, I'm gonna add on all the legs of the octopus. Then I'm gonna add on all the elements of the cheeseburger in here, something like that. Okay, lots going on. Let's go ahead and bring in some of the colors. Then I'm gonna make everything the color of the bun, including those legs. Now I'm gonna draw on the little hat from the chick. And I wanna add the little sesame seeds right on the hat. Last, I'm gonna add on some of the features of the cat. Here is the final result. I love this little guy. I wasn't expecting to like it so much, but I don't know, it kind of looks like a little potato hamburger thing, and I just think it's so cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, these are good. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think we're gonna get a little psychedelic today. We're gonna definitely do this kind of tie-dye pattern, but I think on the mushroom head, and then this pattern from the pineapple down here, and then also include maybe this part and the face of the snake. So first we need to make the shape of the mushroom, so just a little in and draw on the mushroom top. All right, now I'm gonna color this blue and purple. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to make it look tie-dye, yes. And now I'm gonna add white spots all over it. I'm gonna make the bottom be yellow and add on all those little striped details. Okay, I've got that. Now I'm gonna add the little belly of the snake. I'm gonna add the ears from the unicorn. Lastly, I'm gonna add on the mouth of the snake. And here's the final result. It definitely got there on the psychedelic part. I think it's really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them all together, okay? Whoa, okay, let's go. Okay, so I think what we have to do is do the print from the cow and probably the bandana. This is my Melody, and I think we should do her kind of like ears and hood with the skeleton face. And then I think for Kuropi, my old pal Kuropi, if you know, you know, I think we just have to do the little smile from him. All right, let's go. All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the little skeleton mask. Okay, next I'm gonna tackle the bunny hood. So I guess I'll draw on like a little ear here. That's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add on the bandana and start coloring all of this in. I need to add on all the little cow print details. Okay, the last thing to do is add on Kedopi's mouth and blush and here's the final result. This is definitely one of the weirdest ones I've ever made. I can't say I think it is very cute, but it is a mashup of all of them, and at the end of the day, that's the game. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. comments. Whichever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them all together, okay? Ooh. I've actually never gotten the clownfish before, so I think I wanna make that the base, and then we're gonna have to put on some elements from the little skeleton guy, I think cat ears, and maybe even Christmas lights on the belly. Okay, so I'm gonna make the whole thing orange and add on the belly. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the little skeleton mask just so I can place the stripes from the clownfish. I'm gonna make that green and now draw on those stripes. It's looking a little mummy-esque, but hopefully some fins will save that. Okay, now I'm gonna add on cat ears and I do wanna make them different colors. Lastly, I'm gonna add on those Christmas tree lights Get some of the colors going in there, and here's the final result. I don't know, something about the clownfish mixed with that mask does kind of make it look like a mummy. Plus we've got the Christmas thing going on, so a lot going on with this one, but I do think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, we've got a lot going on here, let's go. Okay, lots of color and pattern on this one. I'm thinking we do maybe the headband and the bow from Hello Kitty, the spots from the Dalmatian, and then the face from this unicorn horse. And maybe we make the whole thing rainbow like this koala and add in the ear elements here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a bunch of this rainbow kind of splotches all over it. Okay, this looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Gaussian blur it, yes. And add on a belly. Now I'm gonna add on the koala's ears. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the horse's little mask. That's looking really cool. Let's make the mask pink. 
and add on the bow and flowers from Hello Kitty. I'm also gonna add the unicorn horn. Last, I'm gonna add on all the Dalmatian spots and here's the final result. I knew at this pool there was gonna be a lot going on, but it's pretty overwhelming. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, we have got to do the cute face from the walrus. I'm thinking the top from the cupcake and the clothes from Karopi, and then the crab claws. I couldn't decide on the color, so I'm just gonna mash them all together and see what we get. Okay, kind of a pinky brown. First, I'm gonna add on the top of the cupcake and time to add on all the little sprinkles. Cue Mariah Elizabeth sprinkle song here. I made all the sprinkle colors, all the colors of each of these characters. Now I'm going to add on Karopi's clothes and little bow tie. Now I'm going to draw on the walrus's adorable little face. Now I'm going to add on all of the crab's little pinchers and do the legs. And here's the final result. This is definitely a mismatch of all of these ones up here. I don't know. I don't know if I love the color brown, but it does make sense with the walrus still. And... For some reason, I feel like he's like a carnival worker or something like that. Let me know what you think about it and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna... Ooh, okay, Oxalotl Burrito, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking that we need to take the rainbow bellies from both of these and make it kind of like the burrito part of the burrito and then maybe add on the mouth from this guy and then the eyes from the raccoon. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rainbow onto the whole thing. Then Gaussian blur it. Yes, that looks really cool. Next, I'm gonna add on the crinkly part of the foil from the burrito, as well as the lettuce on the top and get some more details in there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add on the gills from the oxalotl. I added those to both sides. Now I need to add the little rings around the eyes for the raccoon. Get that smile going in there from the dinosaur. Finally add on the teeth and here is the final result. This is definitely one of the biggest mashups I have ever done in terms of elements here. For some reason the oxalotl parts are giving a little moose vibes. I don't know. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. Okay, we have a lot of cool colors. So I'm thinking we maybe do this tie-dye for the base plus the lion's tie-dye for the mane. Obviously we have to add in the little skull mask and then I guess some features, maybe the ears from the wolf. I'm gonna start by just drawing patches of blue and then I'm just gonna blur it all together. Now I'm going to draw the lion's mane. Okay, I've got that drawn. Now I'm gonna do the same process on the mane. Now I have to blur that, perfect. Now I'm gonna make the middle the color of that mask. Three of these have a white belly, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that down here. Now I'm gonna add the little nose from the wolf, the wings from the dragon, and finally the ears from the wolf, and here is the final result. Okay, we have so many things going on with this one. I love the amount of color. I think this is definitely the most color I've ever put in one of these mashups, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together. Whoa, okay, let's go. Okay, we definitely have to go with some of these little details from Frankenstein, the legs from the scorpion, the cheeseburger details, and maybe even the face from Pom Pom Perrin. And then I think we have to do the bunny's little face mask here. So I'm gonna start by taking the three main colors from these first three. I'm gonna mix it all together and see what color we get. Then I'm going to go ahead and add on all the little cheeseburger details. Now I'm gonna add the little skull mask and color that in. I'm gonna add on the little hat, big ears. Now I need to draw on the little pinchers for the scorpion. Last, I need to add on the details from Frankenstein and here's the final result. Okay, this one, I know it has so many different elements going on, but for some reason, overall, it's looking like he's I don't know, in the army or something. I just, I think it turned out really cute. The color combinations are really good. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments.